everybody! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we women over 50 use great skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. Today I'm excited to bring you my 60-day results video on the Nera Skincare Laser on my under eye wrinkles and also in the nasal fold area down here. I was pretty blown away by the 30-day results that were just on the crow's feet, and I'll show you one picture of that so you can see that in just a few moments but the 60-day results are getting even better. And another neat thing about the Nera is it can help you and your wrinkles, but it can also help your mom and her wrinkles. And Mother's Day is coming up, and I can't imagine how much a mother would love to get a device like this. I would have loved it if my boys or even my husband had bought me this device because I think it does a beautiful job. Okay, let's get into this. I can hardly wait to show you my before and after picture results after 60 days of using the Nera. But first, here's a little look at my outfit of the day, and all details are under the video. And if you're 50 plus and want to feel your best, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this. I can hardly wait to show you. Now, the Nera Skincare Laser Device is a device that is FDA cleared, and it is really proven to get rid of your fine lines and wrinkles, or at least to reduce them. I wouldn't say get rid of them, but I think it does a beautiful job on really reducing them, and I'll show you that in just a few moments. But first, let me give you a few details about this little guy and what it is supposed to do. From their website, it says, Younger Skin in 90 Days Guaranteed. It says FDA cleared and clinically proven, no pain, redness, or downtime, made in the USA. Use it in the comfort of your home. It builds collagen to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It is easy to use and takes just two minutes a day. They say it is safe for all skin types and it really does not hurt that bad at all. Basically what I do is morning and evening, I take about two minutes each time to do this. In the morning I do it in the bathroom, in the evening I do it with Alan in front of the TV, but basically I just go around my eyes and they have a little diagram to show you how to do this. It's, it's like about 40 little pulses of the little Nera laser. What it is doing is that the Nera is sending little beams of laser heated light down into the dermis of your skin, down into the deeper layers, and basically you're giving yourself a little controlled wound there, which is what we need to regrow collagen. And as everyone knows, from about the age of 30 onward, we lose about 1% of our collagen every year. And then I just heard this thing, which is horrible. When we hit menopause, in the five years after menopause, we lose another 30% of our collagen. So friends, if you want to keep the wrinkles away, keep the sagginess at bay, there's a nice little rhyme there, then you really do need to give your skin some controlled damage to help regrow that collagen. Some people do that with derma rollers. You know, I have used derma rollers too, and I still do, but this is a great way to do this in the comfort of your own home. And you know, after my first 30 day results video, I got a wonderful comment from a woman named Marilyn. And this is a long comment, so I won't tell you all the details, but basically she says that she's been using the Nera since November of 2020 and that she is 77 years old now and that she has really noticed a great difference in her skin using this and that it does keep the fine lines and wrinkles really reduced, but she says you do have to use it consistently. And I totally agree with that. And sometimes people will make a comment in the comment section below the video and they will say, well, but do you have to use this forever? Well, yes. Like, do you have to brush your teeth forever? Do you have to exercise forever to keep your abs smooth? Yes, you do have to use this forever, but it really does change your skin. It's not just cosmetic. It is getting down into the deeper layers of your skin and it is helping pump up that collagen, which in turn smooths out your fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, first I'll show you just one picture from my 30 day results to show you the kind of results I got in the first 30 days. Okay, as you can see, this was the left side of my face, which being the left side of my face, it gets more wrinkles because it is always right there in the driver's window, having sun beating down on my skin. So that's why I'm showing you the left side because my crow's feet were worse there. But as you can see in the before picture on February 1, the wrinkles around the eyes were pretty significant. And in fact, they came down about an inch and a half on my upper cheeks. Basically, my crow's feet were growing out from below my eyes and then they were going down on the cheek and starting those beginnings of deep furrows there. And in the after picture, as you can see, you almost can't see any crow's feet down on the cheek area. They're confined to under my eyes and they are lessened there, which I really appreciated. Okay, having seen those great results in the first 30 days on my crow's feet, 
I remembered that I had seen a video of Kimberly of Pretty Over 50. She has a great channel and she had fantastic results bringing the Nero down in this part of her face. And so I did the same thing too in the second 30 days. I did it a few days out of the first 30 days, but I just wasn't committed to that. But after seeing the great results up here on my crow's feet, I decided to go ahead and start using the Nero device down in this area of my face, basically from here in. And I'll show you the before and after pictures of my first 60 days on the crow's feet and then basically 30 days on this area. Okay, here is a look at my full face in the before picture that is February 2nd and the after picture is 60 days later or two months later. And as you can see in the crow's feet area, the crow's feet look kind of heavy in the before picture, but in the after picture, they have softened up quite significantly after 60 days. And then in the lower face area, in the nasal fold area, as you can see in the before picture, I have quite a few little wrinkles, a myriad of wrinkles down in that area on both sides of my face. It looks like I've got a couple of deep wrinkles on the left side, looking from your left. And then on the right side, there were almost too many wrinkles to count. And then in the after picture, two months later, in that lower face area, you only see one big wrinkle on the left side. And then in the after picture, on that lower face area on the left side, there are quite a few less wrinkles on that side. And then it's exactly the same on the right side, looking at my picture from the right, the heavy wrinkling that I had in the before picture has really softened and it looks like a lot of those wrinkles are kind of fading away. And I took all of these pictures with a smile because that helps the under eye wrinkles and the lower face wrinkles really show. Because look at me when I don't smile, pretty much I look kind of normal. But when I smile, all of a sudden this wrinkling really does show. You almost can't see it under my eyes at all. And I will say that in the middle of 2021, I used Botox on my forehead and my crow's feet area. And it wore off and I had the forehead redone and I did not use any Botox at all in this area at all. And I have used Botox in this area for about 20 years. And I am amazed. I've had such good results with the Nira that I will never use Botox there again. I really don't think I will. Because right now the results that I've gotten on my crow's feet using the Nira are actually better than the results I ever got when I tried to use Botox. Because Botox just softens those wrinkles, but not all that much. Okay, let me go ahead and show you my left side. And as you can see in the smiling picture, the before picture on February 2nd, not only do I have crow's feet there, but the crow's feet extend two inches down the sides of my face into tons of little wrinkles fanning out not just under my eyes, but even radiating out from my cheeks and going down my face. And then as that bottom red arrow shows, the nasal fold lines in my lower left cheek area are just huge. I have a lot of little fine lines and wrinkles there in addition to some sagging. Now in the after picture, two months later, the crow's feet have straightened out. You can't hardly even see the tiny wrinkles that are on my cheeks. And then in that lower jowl area, that jowl looks stronger and more strengthened. And all of those little fine lines and wrinkles are greatly reduced. So that was a look at the left side of my face after 60 days. Now let's take a look at the right side. There, as you can see on February 2nd, when I'm smiling there, there are quite a few crow's feet there and also significant wrinkles in the nasal fold area. And then in the after picture, the wrinkles have all softened up pretty significantly this isn't as dramatic as the left side, but especially in the lower part of the face, I think the wrinkling may look reduced there. And you have to draw your own conclusions, and I hope that you'll put a little comment in the comment section to let me know if you think this worked as well as I think it did. And I will say I do have a 10% discount code below the video, and I want to thank the Nira people for sponsoring this video. However, they came to me after seeing my results in my first 30-day video, and we didn't even talk about sponsoring the second video, but I went ahead and did the next 30 days of treatment. And just the other day, the Nira people emailed me and they said, Beth, you had such good results in the first 30 day video. Could we sponsor your second video? Which I really do appreciate. But what I told them is, well, let me go ahead and take the before and after pictures so we can both see if it's really worth it for you to sponsor the second video. Because quite honestly, I get my opinions as I'm going through these trials on if it's working or not, but half the time, once I have the pictures taken, it tells a whole different story. So I wanted to make sure that the results really were good. And if you'd give your opinion in the comment section, that would be great. Also, if you have used the Nira and found it to be effective or not effective, if you could share that information in the comment section, that would be wonderful. 
because I read the comment sections under other women's videos because there's often a lot of good information down there. A lot of people have opinions one way or the other about anything and it's very helpful to read them. Okay, that was a look at the nearest skincare device and I plan to keep using it on our in the future perhaps on how it is going. I don't know if the great results will continue or if I'll just be able to hopefully maintain what I've gotten so far. Either way would be pretty good. And if you're 50 plus and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best, then if you would like to subscribe to my channel, that would be great and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And normally I read from a deck of positive thought type cards, but today I wanted to share something that a good friend of mine, Missy, Missy Francis from my junior high school years, we've stayed friends all these years, we were talking and she said something that I thought I would share with you. We were talking about the things that we need to kind of feel good and have a happy life. And she made a good point. She said, you know, over the years I've known lots of different people, religious people and non-religious people, or people who follow God and those who don't, who don't believe. And she said, somehow I have always just realized that the people who have a deep faith in whatever religion it is, but the people who have a deep faith seem to handle life's slings and arrows a lot better than everyone else. And life does have slings and arrows. There are ups and downs and all arounds. No matter who you are or what seeming advantages you have, life can throw us a curveball at many different points. And Missy's point, and this is a look at Missy, isn't she just gorgeous? I just love Missy. She's just a light. I mean, just to be out there like, woo! That is Missy. She actually was very instrumental in getting all of her junior high school girlfriends back together again. And we see each other once a year on kind of a girl's trip, which is just wonderful. Thank you, Missy, for that. But I have to say that I agree with Missy on that. And you know, thinking back to high school, I remember those girls who really had a strong religious faith in their home seemed to do better. And unfortunately, I did not have that strong religious background at home. I always believed in God, but my parents did not. And from a very young age, for some reason, I felt that there was a God. I knew there was a God, and I started going to church and all of these things. But I did not have that strong religious background in my home. And I did notice at the time that it seemed that the girls who had a stronger religious background in their homes seemed to make better choices than perhaps I did and some others did. And I guess my point is here that as we grow older, faith becomes more and more important to us because the years are short and you know we lose people we love, we can lose friends, husbands, wives, and sometimes having that deep religious faith can hold us up and support us in the difficult times. And if you have an opinion about faith and if it's helped or hindered your life, I would love you to make a comment in the comment section below the video. But for now, if we follow a certain religious faith, I think it's a great investment to really deepen that faith. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.